to Better Kansas City. It is time that Kansas City artists tried their hands at dress designing, or rather turning gowns into walking canvases of fine art. Silas Wall is here to tell us more about the Kansas City Art Coalition's first ever Colesque event. So, you know, my mind's kind of blown by this because when we're talking about gowns, and how they can transition to fine art. I mean, how is this happening? So we came up with this concept of kind of fusing art and fashion together. Forever, fashion has been one of those arts that hasn't really been considered a fine art or people didn't understand mm -hmm all the process that went into it. What we did with this event is we selected eight local artists, we gave them all the same gown, and let them kind of expose that as their canvas, put their medium onto it, and we got some really beautiful, beautiful gowns um, out of each of these artists. You know, and you brought up an interesting point because there's so much designing and so much work that goes into all that. It really is an art form. It really is an art form. Um, there's a lot that goes into yeah. fashion. There's certainly a lot that goes into couture mm -hmm. fashion. There's meticulous details, there's really an attention to every lace, every bead, every mm -hmm. everything that goes into fashion. So we thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of show the art behind all of these things. Okay, and Kansas City probably needs to know what to wear to this. Yeah. So I know you brought someone who can show us just that. Yeah, we brought some great models. These are looks that we're actually going to see on the runway, but right. they help kind of um, expose maybe what you should wear to the event as well. We're calling it fun formal. Well, let's take a look at one of those. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait for this. Beautiful. Beautiful. So w there is no reason in the fall or holiday or any time of the year not to go bold. This is a beautiful kind of geometric yellow sequins. It's a very bold dress. It's got a small train on it. We've accentuated it with bright, bold necklace, bright, bold heels to kind of just pair together. This is a great fun formal, right? It's not a classic black tie. It's not, you know, your classic black dress. It's a play on everything that is couture, everything that is fun, and the attention to the detail detail in the sequence is really, really something magnificent to look at. Oh my gosh, it makes her look so long. And would you mind turning around for the back? Because this back is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a low cut back. And then of course, it's got that beautiful train behind it as well. Oh, well, thank you so much. Wonderful. And uh, something maybe even a little more I guess dream girl esque. Yeah. We're seeing a yeah. wonderful pink look here. Absolutely. So, this is a baby kind of pastel pink. It's got these beautiful feathered arms. This is something that you can wear with or without the sleeves, depending on the event that you're going to. But have fun with it. Go bold. It's very obviously dream girls inspired. This is something that we're calling part of our pastels collection. So, we're showing a lot of these beautiful pastel colors. Um, it's fun to do something monochromatic. Wow. It makes you feel a lot taller, a lot leaner, a lot longer. This is a great color to transition into the holiday season with. Well, Walla, I, I don't know what this fur is, but I mean, we have not touched on this. That's so beautiful. And I'm noticing, you know, you're giving a nod to animal print as well. I am, yeah. I am, yeah. So this is a ostrich feather that is on these sleeves. Beautiful. And then um, I've got the animal print. Obviously, one of the hugest trends for fall is kind of the animal print that we're seeing everywhere. And kind of these faux furs and all of these fur applications that are put even onto gowns. Okay, and let's also bring it full circle back to the artists, right? Because these are some maybe well-established, but also emerging artists that have really put a lot of work into this. Yeah, so with the Kansas City Artists Coalition, it kind of touches and helps artists every aspect of their career. Mm -hmm. So whether they're new artists or experienced artists, the Kansas City Artists Coalition, who this all the yeah. proceeds go to them, um, kind of help artists all the way through and kind of take them through that journey and help them and assist them in whatever they need. Okay, and let's also talk about this. How is Coalesc really going to truly be different than other art fundraisers? So Coalesc is completely different than other art fundraisers yeah. in that it's not just about buying the art, it's about seeing the art in a different medium, right? We're exposing the canvases of a gown versus maybe traditional canvases or ceramics or whatever maybe even the artist's traditional pieces or mediums are. We've exposed it on a gown and then created this beautiful fashion show to go with it. And I've also heard that uh, you know, the reveal is happening that night. Yeah, yeah. So all eight of the artist gowns were revealing um, during the runway show. So people will see them for the first time in their full glory um, on the runway Saturday night. Have you gotten a sneak peek? Oh, I've seen them. Is it pretty phenomenal? Pretty fantastic. Okay, I guess we're going to have to be there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Wal. We really thank appreciate you. that. Bill? Uh, do they make that cheetah jacket in my size? Yes, they do. I wear a yeah. medium. Yes, they do. Okay. Have your name all over <laughs> Perfect. it. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs>